Hi guys. In this video, I'm going to share with you five skills which you need to develop for you to be able to have the ability to make money, more so to make insane amount of money. In this video, you know, I'm, am I going to tell you, for example, go and do drop shipping, go and do online jobs, you know, go and get employed, go and do whatever. No, that is not the essence of this video. Of course, I'm making other videos out there with regards to how, for example, you can make money through passive income, how you can make money for, through, for example, investing in real estate, investing in stock market, and so forth. But this video, I want to discuss with you five soft skills, which, by the way, are essential in assisting you make money in whichever industry out there. These skills are cross-cutting, and of course, the most rich of people out there, the millionaires, the billionaires, know these. And actually, each and every day, they purposely continue growing these skills because they know these are the skills which are going to assist them penetrate any industry out there. You could find, for example, a millionaire started, for example, with the real estate sector. Shortly, they jumped in stock market. Even then, beyond that, delved into the technology and so forth. They are moving and at a good speed because they have these five essential skills which are going to assist you make money, deal with people appropriately, and be able to safeguard your money all the times you are all much welcomed to the money daily youtube channel my name is afagza sifuna by the way if you're new here kindly consider subscribing because i'm out here bringing you awesome videos each and every day having said that the very first skill which you need to develop is communication of course someone might argue each and everyone out there know how to communicate but there is a way which you can communicate for you to be able to get your point across faster, for you to be able to make another person understand you faster, for you to be able to take charge of any conversation. We all need to develop our communication skills for us to be able to be able to reach out there to any person who we see, for example, our potential customer. For us, for example, to be able to reach out to any person out there who we see, for example, could be a business partner and so forth. Of course, communication is the underlying thing which is going to be able to tie together any conversation you are having with any person out there. To give you an example, in case you want to be a good particular business person, you need, for example, to know how to use, for example, even assertive communication as opposed to passive communication. And yet, people out there, based on different cultural nuances out there and their own experience and upbringing, they are going to tell you regards to their ability to communicate. Not everyone out there communicates fluently. Not everyone out there knows how to put throw across a good elevator pitch. All these are skills which someone can be able to learn. So invest some time in learning about how to communicate. Communicate both using words and also in text. Because if you master this, it's going to be the key for you to be able to be able to kickstart a conversation with anyone out there, to be able to kickstart a conversation with corporates out there. And in the long term, it's going to play in your favor. Right? And then the second skill related to communicating is learn how to negotiate. How many of us out there, for example, know how to negotiate? Of course, we know what negotiating is, but do you know how to go about negotiating for you to have an upper hand? Look here, we are all out here to take money, right? You are out there, for example, to take money from another person. And the only way you're going to be able to take money from a person out there is through you giving them value and knowing how to negotiate for them to be able to pay you for whatever you putting across to them. So, learning how to negotiate, which by the way, guys, is also a very unique tact, is going to assist you be able to get the best of deals each and every time. You might be in business. Yes, you might be making some profit, but you could be able to get even higher margins. Hey, do you know, for example, how to negotiate? Hey, do you know, for example, how to perfect the art of negotiating? For you to be able to convince someone to pay you a, an amount you want, even though they don't want to pay you that amount of money, yet you know they have that money. If you're a good negotiator, at the end of the day, you might just be able to convince people to give you what you think you deserve because of your skills or a product you're putting forth to them. So it is important to learn how to negotiate because it's going to really, really work towards assisting you get what you want. And then the third skill also learning to negotiate and communicating is knowing how to sell. Look here, guys. Selling 
something isn't as easy as people think. Of course, it is a combination of knowledge and experience. This piece together is going to see someone become a good salesperson. By the way, if it were up to me, all the colleges out there in whichever course they are teaching, they need to include a unit down in there with regards to how to sell. Because guys, selling is what actually drives the world. Look here. If, for example, out there working, then you're feeling hungry. You see, for example, multiple restaurants out there. Which are you going to go to? Beyond just the craving of a given for, for a given particular meal, which restaurant are you going to? It's the one which is, is having the best selling services out there. Whether it's direct selling or in-kind selling. So at the end of the day, we need to learn how to sell. You know, you might have, for example, this product, which is a mobile phone. How do you go about selling it to a person for you to be able to get them to put down money for that? Knowing how to sell is attacked which we need to develop over time for us to be able to have the upper hand with regards to pushing forth with the shower bargain we're getting into. And then the fourth skill, which you need to develop for you to be able to be at a good place, more so with this very, very digitally savvy and evolving world is data analysis skill and presentation. Look here, people out there have had stories for many years, but the age which we're living in, it is data which is driving decision making. It is data which is convincing people out there. Words coupled with good analysis is going to be able to give you an upper hand compared to your competition because someone is going to see through statistics with regards to what you're talking about. And now this coupled with your ability to communicate, your ability to sell, your ability to negotiate is going to assist you get the best of this possible. So go out there, learn the basics of data analysis. Learn the basics of how to put together a good elevator pitch with regards to presenting any piece of information. And with that, you're going to have an upper hand regardless of talking about working through the corporate doors, whether you're talking about you dealing with an individual one-to-one -one and so forth. Because people out here are amazed by data, this couple with good skills around communicating and negotiating is going to give you an upper hand. And then lastly, guys, the fifth skill, which you need to be cognizant of and also develop over time, is the ability to be emotionally intelligent. What do I mean? People out there have very unique competitive advantages, unfair advantages. But it's kind of fascinating because only few people out there are actually conscious about the advantages they have. If you're emotionally intelligent with regards to your environment and also yourself, you're going to be able to pick what your unique and unfair advantages are and capitalize on them for you to be able to push something forth in the market and ultimately be able to make money. What do you think about these skills I've shared with you? I hope you've gotten a thing or two from this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I look forward to with you other awesome videos next time. Bye-bye and you all take care.